In my darkest hour, on the day so grim, when I've seen the world and been through all of it. Oh, well, that's my butt. <laughs> Hi. What's up? Oh, you know, it's another day. How are you? Yeah. I'm ready. Yep. Yeah. Do it right here if you want. All right. You're not gonna tell me twice. Love never fails. Never fails me. Two years ago, almost to the day, it walked up to me putting coins into a parking meter in downtown Silverton on a Saturday. <laughs> Those long two years of you guys being broken up were filled with Hannah going back and forth between I'm so over him and Sarah, I'm gonna marry him. One day I texted Hannah and being the relationship expert that I was at 16, told her that she needed to stop stressing about whether or not you guys were gonna get back together because you were gonna get married. Shoot. Oh, it's gonna be an emotional day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Frick. I don't know if it's my little sister intuition or the fact that I'm always right, but I told her four years ago that Ethan was gonna come back, they were gonna get married, and I'd be standing in front of all the people they love most giving the speech I'm giving right now. Thank God I was right because one, that would have been terrible on my part, getting your hopes up like that. And two, I absolutely love Ethan and there's no other person I would choose to marry my best friend. <laughs> Woo. It's good. It's good stuff. <laughs> what you didn't see was how badly my hands were shaking and how much I was freaking out to see you for the first time in two and a half years. I didn't really know what that night would hold, but I couldn't have imagined that he'd lead us here. <laughs> Our love story has been anything but ordinary. But my favorite thing about it is the Lord's hand over it all. Our journey has been everything but ordinary. And I wouldn't change a single second of it because it has brought us to this day and this moment. Looking back, it's so obvious the way he's been working in both of our lives to lead us to this moment. As cheesy as it sounds, as soon as I saw you, I had an overwhelming peace. You're my person, Han. My best friend and favorite person to laugh with. I love you every little bit of you. I love and I'm so grateful for how much you love me. You level me out and bring so much joy and peace to me. The way he talks about her, the way he treats her, it's all full of sacrificial love. Ethan, you're the best buddy anybody could ask for, and I couldn't be happier you get to spend the rest of your life with Hannah. Sorry. <laughs> you look so beautiful. Thank you. When I'm with you, just bless this day, bless Ethan and I know Hannah. That you feel the same way too. Their marriage and their coming days and years that uh, you would just cover over them. And that no matter what happens, all the highs, all the lows that put me through most, we always point them to you. I vow to cherish and honor you as my wife. Guided by the principles of love and faith, with God as our foundation, I promise to lead our household 
with humility, integrity, and compassion. Father, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for your hands that have been all over this relationship from the beginning. I thank you so much for bringing these two together. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. You may have a seat. I vow to put you first before myself. I vow to love you like Christ loved the church. Welcome everyone. We are here today to witness a covenant, a covenant between Ethan and Hannah, and a covenant between them both and God. I asked Hannah, when she first knew she was going to marry Ethan, she said right after their first date, she called her mom and said, I have just gone on my last first date. She knew right away. And uh, I know that God is... God has known this from the beginning of time, that you two would be here today. His hand has been all over this relationship, and the challenge now is to make sure that his hands never leave this relationship. They continue to be all over it. I'm excited to embark on this journey with you, knowing that together we can grow spiritually and support each other in all aspects of life. You are my partner, my confidant, and my greatest blessing. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to spend my life loving and serving you. I love you dearly, man, and I can't wait to be your husband. By the authority committed to me as a disciple of Jesus Christ and a minister of his gospel, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you husband and wife, Ethan, you may kiss the bride. Here I stand in a lived in. unwavering love even in my worst moments. You love the things I can't stand about myself. You love me for exactly who I am, which sometimes is kind of a lot. You're selfless, caring, you love me in ways I didn't even know I needed. I don't really believe in soulmates, but I do believe there's no one out there better for me than you. You're my best friend and I can't wait to stand beside you forever in whatever this life throws at us. I truly don't know how I did this life without you. some promises I make to you today. First, I promise to always pursue the Lord first because I know I love you best when I'm content in Him. I promise to always point you to Him and first in everything. I promise to always be on your team even when you aren't winning. <laughs> I promise to continue to perfectly quote New Girl to you. I promise to add some new recipes to my lineup, or at least try. <laughs> Ready? I promise to try to remember to make the bed. <laughs> I promise to always be your gym buddy, golf buddy, pickleball buddy, or anything else you need me to I promise to always be in your corner and I promise you'll never have to question that. Today I'm yours and there isn't anything else I would want to be. I can't wait to be your wife, Ethan. There aren't words I could string together that would accurately encompass how much I love you. You're my everything. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you, um, first and foremost, for two families that are coming together, Lord. May we all love each other and love them well. In your name we pray. Let's do this. Love, Hannah. Love. <laughs>